Hey buddy, it's Sissy for a new start, and today we're here, we're back with Grotto. This time, uh, we're going to be dealing with some um, uh, in health-based stuff, so it's going to be basically health, ammo, and collection of keys for moving up special doors. So you're basically on a planet that's an ancient planet that has mystical stuff, and you need certain keys to open doors, stone doors, and all that stuff um, to get to it. So you're supposed to collect all your parts that you need for your ship, and we're going to actually get to that in the next episode. But I wanted to actually deal with some of the enemies that we're going to be dealing with in this. So uh, we need to figure out, okay, how we set up all the health stuff, how do we set up all the pickup stuff, because I wanted to make sure you guys got to that before we actually started delving into multiple enemies, different type of enemy uh, AI. So there might be a guy who just stands there and rotates to wherever you're facing. So you could jump over him, he's going to rotate to where you are. If you jump over him again, he'll rotate to the other side of, you know, which side you're facing him. And he'll just constantly shoot fireballs or uh, slime you or whatever. Then again, you could have a smarter enemy that due to the geometry in the area, he will... Um, shoot globs at you and if his health is below certain points he will retreat uh, retreat to a different area go, get further back and you have to get closer to him um, but as soon as you're like really close to him he's just gonna go to glob mode and just shoot you with a whole bunch of globs but that's a little bit later we're gonna set up we're getting set up for that so we have our basic enemy right now, and this is just a setup um, to make sure all of our stuff is working. So we have a health, um, we have ammo, and we have key. And if you guys have been downloading the files, um, we have two layers. We have layer 0 and layer 1. So layer, um, layer 1 is visible, and it contains all of the stuff that does not move. So this is the stuff that stays inside the scene like forever. And then we have the stuff that does move. So that stuff does move. Okay. Or, you know, it is in the actual game scene. So we're going to run the layout. And I'm actually going to use my WAS, uh, not my WAS keys, but my arrow keys. But I'm going to show real quick uh, when I use the UI layout, because this is set up for Android. Um, and later iOS and web. Uh, when you play web game on your touch screen, this is going to work. So right now, I have the code set up to where if your health is above uh, a certain point, you can't collect health points because uh, the health uh, things on this planet only give out 5% health. You know, it's, come, it's kind of a stupid rule, but it's kind of like one of those weird things that get you really angry. Um, also, it's bouncing up and down because I wanted some sort of like realistic game care. Uh, you know, it's like, it's just floating there. Why is it floating? Well, it's part of the game. All right. So also we can't go. There's a, a, a block. This probably used to be an ancient building, but now it's collapsed. But we have a little chomper here. Let's go visit chomper. Like I said, uh, I am going to just use my wasp keys. Oh my goodness! I have 80% health. Whoosh! 85% health. So that's our health. Um, uh, so a little bit later on. So further down with the level. So let's jump over chomper. So we have a very, very slow floating elevator. Let's just float down. So down here we're going to have some more enemies, some more globs. Um, and then we're going to have a door over here. So probably right over here somewhere, we're gonna actually going to have a key. Probably a key right before we hit the door. And it's also going to be floating. And we need that key to access the door. So that door is going to be an actual animated door. Uh, you know, side viewing uh, gate that's going to slowly go up and then we enter a, a, a ruinous building to where we actually find parts of our ship. So we're going to find what we call scrap. So we're going to need scrap to actually patch parts of our ship that has, you know, caused issue, it has actually crashed. And we need to pick up engines, starters, all that, you know, techno uh, stuff. And then fuel. So we're also going to need fuel. So we're going to put up UI for that, um, but actually what I also wanted to do was, um, I know you got a lot of guys wanted to do inventory system. I have done a basic inventory uh, uh, occasionally with weapon systems. Um, what I actually wanted to do is to uh, set up an inventory to where you could see how much stuff, so you click like the I button and it will say, hey, you have collected this much stuff.
And so, um, you know, it would say, hey, you have collected uh, 10 uh, out of 20 um, containers of oil or fuel, or, and you need to collect this much more. So it's not really a, you know, a, it's more like a info system on saying, hey, you need to do this stuff. But also, would like, it would also entail all of, like, your health, ammo, and key, and a little, um, uh, and a, a little guy view. I'm trying to see if I can get a sprite artist to recolor these guys. I'm sure I could, um, but I want it done like really, really good. Um, and then add some more to the sprite sheet. So you can have like a little system to where you can add in a better uh, suit, uh, spacesuit. Because right now he's wearing a spacesuit, but I want to actually add in a spacesuit that probably has a, a little shielding to it or is better inclined for going through acid pools or something like that. So um, we're actually going to be adding in a there's a health bar or a health system here. I want to add in a, um, a health, but a, also a suit system. So instead of health and armor, it's um, health and suit integrity. And we have the ammo, the key, and then what we collect. So um, like this video. Um, hold on one second. I actually want to show you the environments, uh, the actual system. So nothing has changed. So uh, the only code that I actually have for this setup right here is pickups. So we have uh, player on collision with sprite 9, which is the health system. Add 5 to health. Set text to health. But we need, uh, uh, I added a click right, and you add another condition that says health has to be um choose a variable uh, variable health less than 95 so if your health is less than 95 you can collect the health um, so now I'll be changing that to uh, it just needs to fill up whatever health that you don't have left or what you need enemy setup is basically on collision with the enemy subtract 10 from health set um, text to health also, this file will be down below, uh, guys, in case you want to actually download it, take a look at it. Um, I do have a global variable, so if you've seen any of my other videos with global variables, that basically uh, global variables interact with anything in, in, in any of the uh, scenes, or anything within that scene, so you can always reference it. Um, that's the text, 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 um, and how you actually get this set up is... For this text thing, we're just going to do it right now. We're going to see add action. And then we're actually going to click on text. So I think this is text too. So we're going to click on text too. We're going to say um, set text. And what we do now is that it wants us to put it in parentheses. We don't put in parentheses. We just say what the global variable was. And the global variable was health. So it, it's now going to reference everything that is said in health. So if health uh, changes to uh, 5, see it says add 5 to health. Health now has a number variable attached to it. We can delete that and we can go up here. Global number health. Health the variable is equal to 100. That means whenever we reference that line, health equals 100. Okay, health. Uh, minus 20 to health, we're now at 80. At 5, 85. So that's what it, this is all about. It's very simple here, guys. Um, uh, especially if you've been watching any of my other videos so you guys can know what it is. Um, if you have any trouble, guys, message us down below. Or message, or um, you can always follow me on Twitter or um, just email me. And I'll get back to you as fast as I can. I try to actually do that so you, I, you guys can get, you know, instant response. Um, yeah, that's about it. So the next one is actually going to be dealing with a couple of these uh, fire breathers and a couple of slimies and different types of AI. So the slimies are going to be kind of the smarter ones, even though their attacks are weaker. They're going to be just uh, attacking you because, uh, you know, they don't want... They're weaker than the uh, the flame ball guys, but the flame go flame ball guys are kind of like we fear nothing, which is causing which causes them to die, um, or you can just jump over them. Um, also, the, the store is going to be put in place here, so I need to set up some sprites for that, so it will move up or down, and then you walk through it and you go into a nice little environment. Uh, I know a lot of you guys actually like it when I actually 
do it, but I was kind of short on time, and I wanted to put out a, a video. I've been like super busy with some projects lately, but I want to continue on doing these tutorials, and I didn't want to leave you hanging for a super long time. So again, guys, liked it if you liked it. Um, subscribe if you would like to see more. Again, only if you want to, guys. I never push that you actually just subscribe, but it does really help the channel, and it helps you guys uh, get stuff. There's some stuff I'm dealing with right now that I can't tell you guys yet, but it's really, really uh, kind of awesome. Um, and we'll talk about it soonish. I don't know exactly when, but soonish. Um, but again, also put comments down below on what type of tutorials you would like to see. I've already gotten a couple requests, and I'm trying to like put those together and send those files to the guys and do a tutorial on them. So um, thumbs up to that, and I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, I'll see you all later.